100,000 years, our species have been around on, on this speck. Born, usually dying, actually a great number of them in childbirth wouldn't have got beyond being born. For the first 80 or so, 90 or so thousand years, nearly 100, not living more than 25 to 30 years at the most, then probably dying of their teeth, if they were lucky, or of the other needless mammalian things that show us that we bear the stamp, as Darwin put it, of our lowly origin, the appendix we don't need anymore, innumerable other shortcomings of our design. We're designed to live on the savanna that we've escaped from. Terrible d disease, suffering, misery, malnutrition, and fear. Where do the earthquakes come from? Why is there an eclipse? What are the shooting stars doing? And awful cults of sacrifice to try and ward off what are in fact natural events, and war, and rape, and the kidnap of other peoples, and the enslavement of them. All of this goes on, gradually, gradually inching up to the point where you can brew beer, a breakthrough in my view, um, <laughs> domesticate animals, separate one kind of corn from another, so very millimetrical progress, but r terrible struggle, sacrifice, pain, misery, and above all, fear and ignorance. And you have to believe this if you believe in monotheism. For the first 97, 98,000 of this, heaven watches with indifference. Oh, there they go again. That whole civilization has just died out. Well, what are you going to do? They're raping each other again. They've, they've, they're poisoning, the, they think that the other tribe has poisoned the well, so they're going to kill all their children. All this, just watch all that. 3,000 years ago at the most, it's decided, no, we've got to intervene now. <laughs> you have to believe it. And the revelation is, must be, must be, personal, must appear, will pick the most backward, the most barbaric, the most illiterate, the most superstitious and the most savage people we can find in the most stony area of the world. We won't appear to the Chinese who can already read. <laughs> we won't appear in the Indus Valley where they know a thing or two and they're already they're very far of us. No. We'll, we'll appear to this brutal, enslaved, hopeless, superstitious crowd and we'll force them to cut their way through every, all of their neighbors with slaughter, genocide and racism and settle on the only part of the Middle East where there's no oil. <laughs> and all subsequent revelations occur in the same district. And without this, we wouldn't know right from wrong. <laughs>